the Planning and Heritage Committee to order uh, for this meeting, which is the month of March, uh, March the 1st. Declaration of Conflict of Interest. Anybody in conflict? See no hands. I assume not. Approval of the agenda. Could I move her in a seconder? Move by. Councilor Yankoff, seconded by Councilor uh, A. Uh, all those in favor? All those opposed? Pass zero. Uh, three zero two zero. Sorry. Adoption of the minutes. The minutes that we have on hand are Friday, February the twelfth, two thousand twenty-one. I know you've had a chance to read those from the early morning meeting. Uh, um, do I have a mover? Uh, moved by Councillor uh, McCabe, seconded by Councillor Yankoff. All those in favor? All those opposed? Pass 2-0. Business arising from the minutes. I don't believe there's any uh, discussions. First one is 6A, design review roster. Here we go. Mr. Forbes. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman. Uh, uh, as you folks will recall, I came here in 2013 uh, the, uh, there was a, the provision to create the design review process, which we did. So in 2014, we created a design re roster. There was 10 people on that roster. Uh, most of them were architects, not all of them. There was a landscape uh, a person on there, and there could have been a planner. I, I kind of forget right now. But those people have been on for, for quite a long time, and they've been doing a great job. Some of them have been really active. Some of them have not been as active. So it's time to renew the roster, uh, and uh, you, you've got the package there in front of you. We're suggesting that uh, once council renews the new roster, should be likely for a five-year period. Some of the people that are presently on the roster may wish to come back, and uh, you know if they've done a good job, that we wouldn't be averse to uh, recommending for them to be, uh, you know, uh, reapproved for for another five-year period. The original roster was for ten people. Uh, we were suggesting it go to 15 because development is so strong across the country. What's happening is, is that uh, some of the people that have readily always done des design reviews have been indicating they're too busy. So if we have more of them, that's a good thing. So it's just basically for your information that the, the uh, you know, what's going to go out. We're going to send this to all of the various architect associations in Newfoundland. Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, and PEI. We'll get a new group of a uh, name of people, and then that has to go to council to be approved. But I just thought I would just give you the heads up that that's what we're working on. Thank you. Great. Any questions? Any concerns? Any uh, complaints? No? You've got to go ahead, uh, Alex. Thank you very much. The second item is, I think we already covered the March meetings. Is that right? Yep. Okay. And I just have one other thing, Mike, if you don't mind. Go ahead. Uh, so, again, just while we're recruiting this new planner and it's been busy in here, uh, we're, we're thinking of bringing, I'll, I'll bring a resolution to the next council meeting to, uh, uh, for Ira Burt. Ira Burt was a building inspector, but he was also a development officer. He could sign off on small planning issues. Yeah. We don't want them this go around. We usually use them for building inspection. But we yes. want him to be able to sign off on a couple of small uh, uh, development applications. So uh, we'll send a resolution next Monday night uh, just to recognize on a limited basis some things he can do to help tidy up some of these permits. To uh, It's only for uh, maybe a day and a half a week uh, to get things uh, you know, sort of tidied yeah. up on a track. And it's only till we get this new planner hired. Good. Good. That's great. great. Problems? Anybody have a problem with that? Green light. Green light. Green light. Okay, next item, Alex? Pardon? Is nope. there anything else? I have no, I, business. Uh, Can I ask something? Okay, Judy, and then your worship? Yep. I was wondering if, if at some point, and I know we're right now it's up on the thing, but for our committee, could on our agenda, could we have a discussion for looking at our bylaw regarding uh, the development requirements? We've talked about this, Alex. I think you know what I'm talking about as far as, you know, what they might need to do to... Um, prepare for some easier like multi-purpose pathways and stuff to be placed in front of their development that we have better requirements can we have a discussion about that at some point Ola and i talked to you about this today you might be able to help me with what i'm trying to say a little bit more clear Is that are, you, are you referring to the in reference to the um the new um, proposed traffic plan that's heading to 
public consultation in terms of developers um, looking at green space and sidewalks and stuff like that. Is that what you mean, Councillor McKay? You no, know, I've talked to uh, Peter Kelly about it. He said in Halifax, they have it in their bylaws where developers, when they are developing, there has to be some requirements that they have to do some of the groundwork for sidewalks, uh, you know, curbing, some of those things that we are finding that we're incurring as an expense on the city, which seems to be reasons why we aren't able to do a lot of this work. Alex, what would that be under? Would that be under? Do, I, do you want me to get more? Uh, 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 well, it, 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 well it, the, the problem with that is it's, I'm not averse to having that conversation. That's a, that's a long conversation. But the fact is, is the first thing that would have to occur I think what you're looking for is the ability to charge for offsite costs. Is that what you're asking for? Me meaning that you, you would like the developer to, co to contribute to some of these expenses, or you just want to line up uh, once a development is approved that the infrastructure required to support it uh, gets moved up on the capital budget somehow. You know, like for example, when we did the, you know, the thing that passed with the ditch and filling program, when people put in new developments, I guess that's a new requirement. In the can I interrupt here, Alex? I think we had last term, we had a night in council where that's all we did. I can remember sitting there listening. This has to do with infrastructure provided by the contractor uh, rather than the city. It has to do with ditch infilling, street lighting, curbing, uh, sidewalks, sidewalks, where it's the it's the responsibility of the of the developer to provide these things, not the municipality. Yeah. You remember one summer's night we had that uh, presentation by you in the council chamber? Yeah. But for, but for the most part, unless we're going to ask the developer to do additional things, and we, we can contemplate that, those things are occurring. I think, you know, Councillor McCabe's concern is where, where the infrastructure in a, an area is substandard already, and then somebody is moving a project into that area, and so they're, they're they're meeting all of their requirements, but the infrastructure in front of, and around the property is is substandard. Is, is that the is that your concern? It, it would be uh, like while there's work being done, is there things that we couldn't apply with that? Yeah, I think it had to do, Alex, also with the Lewis property out by uh, Jewel's Country Gardens out there, where it's a new prop new subdivision, and where they're being uh, provided. Uh, you know the the contract the owner of the property the subdivider the whatever developer yeah. he has to put the he or she has to put the infrastructure in yes. not for the city not for the new homeowner to rely the, the collective new homeowners to rely on the city to put these amenities in yeah yeah so again look uh i think we could you know that this could be a really great discussion what you're going to see i think i'm working with scott adams because of what's happening around the charlottetown mall uh, yeah. we will be bringing in rules so there are some situations where individual developers cannot uh themselves uh uh provide the the, the required infrastructure because there's too much and it's too complicated so the intent is on those roadways in and around the charlottetown mall that the city may front end and facilitate some of that development but if you're a developer and you want to take advantage of those services that the city put in we would attempt to uh uh i don't like to use the term clawback but we will be uh, being reimbursed for our investments to neutralize the cost but the intent is always that the developer pay but but there are scenarios where the, the size of what needs to be done is too big for an individual developer the city may front end it but we need the tools and the bylaws to ensure that when developers do their individual piece of something that they pay for whatever investment the city has already made but uh you know th th these are called off-site costs uh uh capital works costs uh capital works bylaw recovery costs th th there's a number of m moving parts on this but uh yeah, the, 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 we could clearly take a look at these. Some yeah. of them would be engineering. Some of them would be planning related. Mr. Yeah. Chair, Julie, Mr. Can, Chair. We a, can we set a session, uh, a special session aside for that topic, Julie? Yeah. Like yeah. That's all I'm asking is moving forward at some point if we could get it up. Yeah. 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 I didn't want it on meeting night. I don't keep meeting night. 
pure for applications. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, we'll and just that. we'll do that. Yeah, Mr. Chair, just to add to that, there are two developments: Gwenwood, Gwenwood subdivision Sorry. off Maple Avenue. The uh, uh, Rose 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 flood was going down to get her mail. It hit by a car because they have no sidewalks mm -hmm. in that subdivision. Then if you go out to Sheridale Estates, that's the uh, 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 subdivision owned by the McQuaids, yeah. you go in there, those roadways are like something you'd see in a trailer park. Yeah. So, you know, we have examples all over. Yeah. So, Alex, on, and I didn't ask Greg Morrison, but Lot 2019-3 St. Peter's, St. Martha's Court, will there be sidewalks going in there out to Mount... Mount Edward Road. Uh, I, I have to look into that. I mean, it's been a while since we, we approved that. But, yeah. you know, the, the, the one thing is, is for the most part, the church, St. Dunstan's, is a yeah. pretty responsible developer. But, but again, I, uh, and they're requiring standards over and above, but I will check that and I'll get back to you. Could you check that out? And yeah. I think there is some open ditches there. Uh, well, it, it, there shouldn't be any open ditches unless okay. they're temporary. I mean, okay. Okay, but yep. just let's get that checked out. So that's my down, point. Get that yeah, in. yeah, down the road so that we can see this. Take a look out front rather than waiting for the Gwenwoods and the Sheridale Estates to be up in operation. Then we have to go in with. I don't know, Mr. Chair. I don't know how a fire truck's going to fit in that Sheridale Estates. They'll have to rip off some of those. Called, I was called out there by residents, and they showed me French doors behind some of the units where the, the, the private snowplow guys had piled the, wow. the snow quite high up against the French doors, and they rely on that as their fire escape if, if, there's, a, if there's a fire going out of, on at the front of the unit. Yeah. And they, they just perish in there, just yeah. irresponsible behavior. And, and just the last example, Mr. Chair, love subdivision. I was chair of planning when that went in. There were to be sidewalks, ditch in, fill them. Go out there and look now. Nothing, is there? Nothing. Nothing. So is, is that our job to follow up? I don't think so. I think that's an operational issue. So yeah. I, we want to make those lines clear between the policymakers and the operational. Uh, exactly. staff. I agree. Thank, Thank, you, Mr. Thank you. Thank you. Do I have a mover to adjourn? No, just one second. I just want to find out when's the STR meeting there, Alex? Uh, I have no idea. I mean, particularly the STR meeting. Uh, well, uh, we just we're still. Uh, it's in my budget to get the data back online for the, uh, you know, for the you know the the, the tool the to, to to scrape the data in regard to what is going on in the SDR marker, mark yet. But but again, I you know I, I suspect this COVID thing is just temporary. But you can only have a, up to fifty people in a in a room. So yeah. I well well, Mr. Chair, if we have to have two or three meetings, let's have two or three meetings on this uh, this issue. I don't want to be dealing with this in 2022. When people will be throwing tomatoes at us and, and calling his names from the gallery. Look, let's just, Alex, I keep asking about this, and I keep asking about 130 Fitzroy Street. All I want to know is just give us some, some parameters where we can work with him so that we can call these public meetings. If we need to have two or three meetings, you got $1.4 million that came from the province to help us, to assist us with COVID-19 issues. So if we have to draw money from that uh, pool of money. Let's draw it. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, folks. Uh, Councilor Yankoff. Yes. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Chair Duffy. Um, just to um, just to reiterate uh, his worship's comment, and I realize that you know the the STR um, issue doesn't seem to be as um, prevalent now. However, regardless of whether or not um, we get our tourism back, we still need those regulations in place for the, for the sake of, of people coming to visit, for the sake of homeowners, for, for uh, those that own STRs going forward. So it would be really good if we can get that um, some semblance of a bylaw going forward before it is yeah. as, 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 as worship says. It's, it's, it's 2022. Yeah, 2022. Then you well, want to look at 23. When you approve my budget, there, there's, you know, all, all of the tools are inside my budget to yeah. to implement it all. But it's just a matter of, I'll talk to Mr. Kelly on both items. Yeah, I'm okay. supporting your budget, Alex. I'm supporting your budget. 
I'm okay, well, look, you got, yeah, you got no, my that's vote. good. Yeah, yeah no, vote. that's great. Thank you. And could you, when, when you're talking to Mr. Kelly, can you tell him where he is at the uh, summary of fence ticketing? He's taking that up okay. on the road. Okay, you can yeah. ask him about that. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay, I'm pleading for a uh, mover to adjourn. Over by Councillor McCain and seconded by Mayor uh, Brown that we're going to adjourn. All those in favor. Um, Aye. Thank, thank you, you very votes. much. Two votes. <laughs> thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Thanks, I would just like to, to, to throw yes. out to you folks, uh, we had a meeting today because of the, the administrative offices are changing and the whole COVID thing. And usually I would have been in a panic today because of it was planning board meeting and this had happened. But uh, again, uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. I thought the meetings, uh, all of them, there was three meetings that we did tonight. They all went relatively seamless. Uh, we are much better at these tools in regard to uh, when, when we have to get locked down or shut down. These are very important applications. They all have a timeline. So again, I, I must admit that uh, uh, the, the meeting went very well tonight, and uh, like I said, if, if we were a year ago, I'd have been freaking out because yeah, all of those people I, I there's, desperately there's a new needed chair their here. approvals. But, there's but a new that's chair, right, so. and he's doing a great job, so we're with the new chair, Alex. <laughs> well, it's the new is, chair, the new technology. I don't know I what happened to my it. audio on the first meeting, but uh, the <laughs> other two meetings were fine. So th just I thank you I, on the uh, I support on, your on budget, getting the Alex. meetings done. I support your budget. The real good okay, news thank you. Today, the, the real good news of today is 6,500 negative tests. Oh, they're oh, all great. Negative. Summerside, yep. Sierra Town, Montague, the whole shooting match. There you are. Yeah. It's, good night. It's it's this is uh, this is Canada's New Zealand, as that's the that's Deputy right. Prime Minister said. Canada's We're New Haven. Zealand. We're health haven. We want to keep it that way. Yeah. I'm supporting good your budget, Alex. Good night. Okay. <laughs> See you later. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Oh, Good night, guys. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.